There it is. Hey y'all. Hello. How y'all doing? It's been a while. It's been a little bit. Actually, yeah, it hasn't been that long. It's been over a year. No, we we did a lot. We we did a video of, of when the, we were here. A, last, weeks ago. a couple of weeks ago. It hasn't been that long. Not quite a year. Uh, so we come back and uh, check up on y'all. And uh, as um, a lot more people are getting out and about, apparently, uh, because of whatever they're saying. Hey, who, who we got? Hey, John. Uh, you know. Yeah, we got the sun in our eyes, but we thought this would be the best lighting. Best for you. So and... I'm suffering for you. <laughs> We're suffering for, for our audience. But it's such a beautiful day. It's... I'm off from work now, and we had um, our, well, I did my walk, but I didn't do it here at the park today. I did it in the neighborhood. I felt the need to do some walking and praying for my neighbors. I, I walked through the neighborhood, and I prayed while I walked. And um, I love the scenery here at this park so much that I do that usually daily and when he can come he comes but um, today I felt the need because we we, we have a close-knit neighborhood I really love my neighborhood where we live and um, we've had some serious things going on with some of our neighbors and we're, we've been there for over 20 years so we're all getting up in age yeah, everybody's, it's funny, everybody's sort of growing up together. That's yes. the funny thing, I mean, I mean, and I'll say growing up, and, and because some people have probably growing old, I don't necessarily, but... Uh, no, it's a blessing. I, I'm thankful that I'm getting up in age, because yes. I'm getting to see getting on long in the tube. a lot of things happen in the world, and some, some things that are happening, we never thought we would be here to see because <laughs> you always hear about the end of the world coming and all this stuff like this and and it seems to be at a speed that is very fast right now you know so, so we're all getting a little old a little old a little long in the tooth and um and it, and as the neighborhood sort of sort of did it together uh, and you started to see you know health deteriorating and you know and and, and, and you know and the problems that that come with the indignity uh, of age, and that's starting to happen a little bit in our neighborhood. So, uh, which is kind of, which can be a little painful to see, but we all know that is pretty much the natural order of things. What is that? That's a fire truck. <laughs> fire truck. Remember how it was cool when you were little that was there was a fire truck, and you were like, how exciting! Except when the fire truck was coming to your house. <laughs> But when you'd see one in the street, you'd run out to see where they were going. And everybody wanted to be a fireman. Yeah, because everybody likes to see the fireman coming. That's why it's easier to be a fireman than a policeman. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the policeman coming. Everybody loves to see the fireman. Yeah, and we got a little wind going here because there's been a breeze in this area for, uh, yeah, that's what I feel about it. Um, for the past few days, we've got a little, it's been warm, but there's been this nice breeze, which makes it hard to do TikToks and it's hard to do Facebook Lives if you don't have a special microphone or special equipment. But so I apologize for the wind. End. Nothing I can do about that either. Um, but there you go. Fire truck's headed off somewhere else. Yes. It didn't come here. It didn't come Although down here. Although I do smell smoke. <laughs> We pray that everything is okay. That, that wherever that is, you know, that situation is taken care of. That's awesome. Yeah, so, you know, I was, you know, now that you know, everybody's getting out and about a little bit um, because of guidelines changing, uh, I want to, you know, encourage people to, to go ahead and dial back all the anxiety they had before. Um, and I know it was tough not to, for people not to be anxious. Go ahead and dial that back. Look out, look around you. Be careful. I'm don't careful. don't be stupid. Yeah. Don't go around licking doorknobs. That's <laughs> dumb. Don't do stupid stuff. But I was watching one person the other day that was saying about how some of the things hey, that Paul. he is thankful for that COVID brought, and it's more of an awareness of being of cleanliness. You know, 
I heard that. I heard yeah. that. But you know what? You can wipe down everything in the world. Except you can't. Except you can't. Uh, I think people get get the idea of a, of a clean environment is going to be a safe environment. But you know where the cleanest environment is? Hospitals, where there's a bunch of sick people. <laughs> and you and people get sick. And there. if you stay there too long, you'll get sick from something else. I'm not. I, I, I'm not saying to, that you need to be sanitized and everything and being all that's all problem. that. But I think that's a too serious. And they don't. And they don't understand where things come from. There are things that are in the environment that that you know what are in the environment. COVID-19 will be in the ecosystem forever. Polio is in the ecosystem still. Uh, the whooping, the whoop, the whooping cough is still in the ecosystem. Uh, do the best you can. Don't do stupid stuff. Don't do dangerous stuff. Again, don't go around licking doorknobs because that's dumb. But the whole thing that, that we that about wash your hands after you use bathroom, we should have been doing all of that anyway. You should have been washing your hands. So enjoy, you know, dial the dial back the anxiety. Go out and go out and live your life. Hey Denise, go ahead. Yeah, and um, dial back the anxiety. Go ahead and live your life. Don't do stupid stuff. Uh, yeah, try to avoid stupid stuff. As I get older, I'm like, yeah, if I can avoid the stupid stuff, that <laughs> that'd be a lot better. Um, Don't go around kissing strangers. <laughs> well, unless you have to. This is the thing. <laughs> Because most people you kiss for the first time, they were a stranger the first time you kissed them. So, um, and I was. I was completely a stranger. Completely a stranger. But so, so, so again, as you um, as you go out and try to encourage people to uh, do this for me. Let people get comfortable in their own way, in their own time. I know that you're comfortable. I know that you're out. You're maskless. You're not even wearing a shirt. You know, you're wearing shorts instead of long pants now. Uh, I, I, and some of y'all just don't care at all. I get it. I get it. I, believe me. Believe me, I get it. But let some other folks just get comfortable with their own ring, please. Just let them get comfortable. It's okay. Yes. You know, I would. If they, if they feel they need to wear a mask. Still, a mask or two masks or three masks. And the box, let them do the, it. And the box that came in and. Don't hazmat don't suit. Try to shame people don't because they that. want because of the where they are in this situation. I mean, we all have levels of uh, where we are coming back, and until people feel safe enough, they're gonna be there's gonna be still weird things happening. And there are people who are, and, and, and the reality is, there are, there are people who are never gonna feel safe. Yeah. Ever. Which I know you, I stop, stop. I know it's silly. I know, I understand. Um, but there, I mean, I, I've already had to, I've already seen stories where people are going to walk around with a mask in their pocket all the time for, for the foreseeable future. Okay. That, if that's what you want to do, that you you could have done that all along, I guess. But and and you're right. I don't know how much safer that makes anybody. Probably not, but. Doing, I, I myself was carrying masks before COVID because doing pollen season and oh. and all that stuff and people with cologne and stuff and the, I I had masks when I I put a mask on then to protect myself. So if you feel you need to carry a mask, do you? Yeah, but if you're but if you're driving in a car with two masks and the boss came on, you know. They came with, and you're driving the car by yourself. We are gonna make fun of you. That's all there is to it. We're all gonna look and go. We're all gonna laugh. Do 
do you, boo, but I will, I will make fun of you, but, so, so that's going to be the, that's going to be part of the path back, um, but go ahead and, go ahead and experience life now, uh, it's going to be a hot summer here anyway, it's going to be hot, which is normal hot. for Tampa, hot, and there'll be things to do, there'll be places to go, go ahead and do them, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and get back to what you were doing before, I have to say, during this time, when, during the pandemic, I grow, grew a, a new fondness for the outdoors. There is, almost every day, I had to get out and do something in the park, somewhere or something. If it wasn't but just to walk out there and sit in my car, I, I had to do something um, that outside so it has given me a new love for the outdoors dance <laughs> and there are bugs outside <laughs> the bugs outside a new fondness bugs for bite. the outdoors for squirrels squirrels and birds rats <laughs> rats and dinosaurs I have this little thing going on with the squirrels in my trees outside. Rats and dinosaurs <laughs> everywhere. And it drives my family crazy. Rats and dinosaurs everywhere. I have squirrels that are waiting for me at my office window when I get up in the morning. Because <laughs> they're waiting for me to give them some walnuts or peanuts or something. So Rats. Rats figure it <laughs> they're out. They're so cute and They'd only be cute. They don't. They wouldn't be cute if they didn't have that fur in their tail. I gar. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah, I wouldn't be feeding a rat. Yeah, but you are. They are not rats. They're rodents, just like rats and mice. <laughs> they're squirrels. No, no, they're no, they're cousins, but they're rats. Rats and rats and mice. There you go. Uh, but no, enjoy. You know what? If you live somewhere like we live, enjoy the outdoors. Even if you don't, even if you live in the city, go ahead and enjoy the outdoors. Um, get out. And I think sometimes you getting out might encourage somebody else too. Yes. Um, and I think that's important. A, a, a lot of people that you that, that you don't know or you know will need encouragement. Uh, they'll need for someone else to take the lead. So go ahead and take the lead. Go ahead and go to the theme Call park. Call a friend up and say, let's go to Bush Gardens today. Let's, yeah, well, don't go on Saturday. It's really good. <laughs> Call a friend up and say, go let's go to the park for a walk today and have lunch in the park. Yeah. It's because it's really time to, you know, it's been more than a year. It's time to reconnect. I think, the, I think one of the, the things that's happened is that people have become disconnected. Um, so it's really time to reconnect with folks. Um, but and, and a lot of people who've been working through the pandemic have been incredibly busy um, and and may not have time or, or the oppor or opportunity to have lunch or, 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 or to have a breakfast or something. Go ahead and do that. Reconnect with folks. Um, it's been a while, and, and you normally when people get home late, they stay home and they stay isolated. So that's not good for folks. Anymore. That's not good. For, that's for humans. That's not good. So let's see if you can reconnect with your friends, your family, if you can. I think that that's super, super important as we as, as we move forward in our opening this summer. And I think that um, by July fourth, you'll be able to party like it's 1999. I really do. Uh, just, you know, if you, if you want to throw a blowout with your friends and family on July 4th, uh, tell them I said you can do it. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Uh, I think the, uh, the Save a Lot's having the, uh, the 39 cents a pound uh, chicken quarters um, coupon <laughs> um, that, that, that starts on, like, June 30th. So. Yeah, have a barbecue, invite your neighbors. Have fun. Free. And I think that's why we are so concerned with our neighbors because we have been reconnecting with our neighbors in the past few weeks and, and having conversations and finding out what's going on with people, you know, what has happened through the last year and everything. So reconnect with your with your neighbors and, and so forth. They, I can't believe that there are people that live in the same neighborhood with people for years and years and they don't even know their name, never say hello. I mean, that's just... Awful. It is. Makes you a bad human, sorry. Just said it makes you a bad human. If you don't know your neighbors and all you do is, is wave and you get out of the car and then run into the house, you're a bad human. Stop being a bad human. Be a better human. 
uh, be a better human to each other. Uh, because, you know, one you thing I... You never know when you're going to need that neighbor, you well, know? One thing I did learn um, is that, you know, when it all comes down to it, all we really have is each other. I mean, when it all comes down to it, when, when something happens, all you really have is each other. And a lot of us should have learned that because we live in Florida during hurricane season, that sometimes you just have to take care of each other. You, you just do. If the neighbor next door needs ice and you have ice, then, you, then they have ice too. If they need food or they need something to prepare food, then if you have food, they have food too. Uh, and, that, and that's one of the lessons that we, we needed to remember and during this time. And I think that's a lesson that we need to keep. You know, all we really have is each other. So let's uh, make sure that we remember that lesson. Uh, you'll find that you're a much better human. And other people will be better humans too. Regardless of all the things that are used to divide people. Uh, they can't divide our humanness. They can't say that you're an you're a ex-human, you're a B-human. No, you're a human. And um, if you behave like a, like a good human, good things will happen to you. There's a rule about that so. Facebook page, we'll talk with Devin Will. So you can go ahead and, and check that out as well. That would be very, very cool. Uh, and uh, look for the new stuff. There'll be new stuff, different stuff. You know, trying to trying to shake it up a little bit. Yeah, like your friend is shaking up his phone. Sorry. I know it's something, it's something, it's something, it's something we're in a wind tunnel.